Hello you beautiful people. Welcome to the channel. My name's Paul. And this, this is Morticia. What you're looking at is a 2015 Citroen Relay. It's a 2.2 HDI L3H2. If you don't know what the L3H2 is, it's the length and the height. Um, it's classed as a high top long wheelbase. I think that's what it is. Um, I bought a pretty much a year ago to the day. If you clock the registration plate, it says 14 on it. It is a private plate. It, rest assured, it is a 2015. Um, I bought it, like I say, about a year ago with uh, 176,000 miles on it, something like that. We're about 182 now. Yeah, I think I've done about 6,000 in the last year, so not been far. Um, yeah, she's got a few issues and a few niggles. We've got a tractor over there, it's got to hit the beeper on, I'm sure you can hear it. And it's flipping cold, it's flipping cold. It's minus seven. <laughs> I chose the day to film outside, to film the exterior. So we'll have a walk around and show you what we've done. And uh, yeah, I'll show you what we've got. Bloody tractor. I guess the front's the best place to start, isn't it, really? I have done a video on the channel that showed you where I painted the front grill. Uh, sorry, the front bonnet. The front bonnet, there's only one bonnet. But it didn't come out to plan. So I ended up just blacking it completely. Um, and the pinstriping is a vinyl. That was done by Have It Personalised. Uh, friends of mine have got a place over at Bridlington. Uh, you'll see here, I mean, it's just scratching off. That's obviously, the, the Citroen badge is um, normally silver. I just blew black paint at it just to see what it looked like. And uh, I like it looking black, but obviously time of year is wrong for uh, for painting. So my plan is to remove that light bar and the bull bar, and I want to cut out and insert it into there. So when I do that, I'll have it all off. The whole grill will come off. And um, yeah, I'll repaint it properly when it's all done. I've fitted the round DRLs. At the bottom, they were a nice simple fit, they were, a, yeah, they were really simple, they were a simple fit as well. I'll put some nighttime shots up for you in a bit, or well, when it's dark I'll film them. Um, yeah, they come from uh, ledcom.co.uk. The wheels at the moment, just standard 15 inch rims uh, with deep dish alloys, uh, sorry, deep dish trims just zip tied on, standard tyres, well, that's on my list to change. The tractor might be heading this direction. I had those printed, 3D printed, I think we can make that out. 3D printed by uh, Dubious Engineering, he's been on the channel a couple of times. Another pinstripe there. And then we've got, I've got my keys on me, I haven't got my keys on me, but they're uh, sequential um, indicators, repeaters. Uh, they were cheap off eBay. Uh, sun visor is from Van Pimps 
I don't know if you can make it out, but there is a dent in the roof. Now we'll talk about dents in a bit. So, light bars. I've got a 46 inch light bar in the middle there. 10 inch, uh, sorry, two in, uh, the four inch either side. And I've got ditch lights on the bonnet as you've probably already seen. Um, yeah, let's pull you back a bit. This black here is paint. Um, you can buy the plastic trims that fit over it, but uh, I bought them and were quite frankly they were rubbish. I didn't like them, so I uh, I bin them. It cost me a lot of money. I got annoyed and threw them away. Anyway, <laughs> let's not talk about that. And um, we'll talk about the paint and the graphics all in one at the end. The side rails there. I'm sure you can see them. Uh, Rear screen turns off. That's really annoying on this camera. Screen turns off all the time. Or side bars. Again, van pimps. Uh, they weren't the cheapest, but I think they really add to the uh, to the look of the vehicle. Um, all the glass came from um, Trade Glass UK. But that one there, and that one there, that one I had to remove, um, which is why it's all grotty. It wants painting properly again it was too cold to paint properly when I uh, refitted the window because it was leaking so it was the first window I fitted so I uh, ended up taking it back out and refitting it so that'll get repainted when it comes to summer that one is a plastic trim um, that fitted okay the reason I put that on is I don't know if you can see it you can't, can't really see it on this side but you certainly can on the other side which I'll show you it's got the typical damage um, in this area here where someone's been driving it and have turned in on, on a gate post or something like that and it's, and it's got the rub. Um, yeah, so it's not ideal. So we've got on the roof, you can just see it, just there, that black rail, that is a, a C channel, uh, or Cado rail, whatever you want to call it. And that is for an awning. I do have an awning. I was going to get it out today, but it's too damp. And quite frankly, I'd have to dry it out and I can't be bothered. <laughs> um, awning light. And then, I think they're 10 inch lumps. And for the sides. You can see it's quite dark, quite bright up top. I will tilt you down that way. And I don't know what this is going to look like because I can't actually see what's on the screen. Now, don't judge me, I've still got the roof to paint, but you can see the roof, and I'm expecting the panels to be uh, frozen. I have a Max Air Max Fan Deluxe fitted, which is be around there somewhere, and there is six 100 watt panels for solar on the roof. And then on the other side, you'll be able to see the um, Max, uh, what's it called? Max fan yeah max no max air dome fan max air dome fan so the rear the rear let's put you down for a bit same amount of carrier right these um what they're called tail lights these tail light trims these black bits these come silver um my mate pete sandblasted them and paint and then i painted them they're a little bit, so it's just starting to come off a little bit. So I will be taking them off and repainting them again. I'll do them with etch primer, make sure it sticks this time. Uh, the back doors are pretty much standard, apart from the windows, the glass, which I will be. Um, you can see, obviously, you can see from inside. I was, I was coming and iron whether to put the glass in or not. I like the look of it, but it's so cold. Uh, so I'm going to insulate. I'm going to vinyl wrap it inside insulate it and then I've got a panel which I'll show you and explain when we do the interior uh, when we do the interior um, tour on the next video um, we've got as my mate Sean calls them the chab lights two extra lights rear view camera and then two small rear view um, lights pointing backwards um, don't like the sticker that's coming off don't like it because somebody else has got it I saw it in a van life. Uh, I went to a van festival and somebody else had exactly the same sticker. So I'm having a custom one cut. Obviously the Whitman trucker sticker is going to be changing because we've rebranded. And that's pretty much it for the back. Um, the vinyls that's on the side, I am replicating down here, but at the moment they've got an issue. Uh, they had a, have it personalised, they've had an issue. 
their, all their stock of vinyl has been damaged in a, in a bit of a flood that they had. So we're waiting for them. Um, we'll take you around the other side. So this side is pretty much kind of sort of ish the same as the other side. We have got the addition of this, which is uh, the electric hookup. Um, we've got an opening slidey window there. Um, that was easy enough. It was, it was a pain to fit, to be fair. They're, they're awful to fit. Um, the uh, That is a window. However, it's a fake window. Um, it's, it's not cut out on the other side. So I just noticed what I'm on then. Yeah, it's not been cut out on the inside. When I painted the van, I, um, I painted a big, black, a big black square behind there and then I bonded the window on just because it needed it. It just looked like it needed the... the uh, it needed it on there. Um, and that's the same. It's replicated on this side. Exactly the same um, with the two, I'm sure the 10-inch, two 10-inch lights. And then same over there. And then I've got... TV aerial, it's that little thing there, and then just to the left of it is the uh, the Max Fan, uh, the Max Fan Dome. Again, I'll show you those when we show you the interior. So that's pretty much the exterior. Uh, obviously, I've got night heater exhaust is there, normal exhaust, obviously. Oh, the damage, yeah, you can see the damage more, it's more prevalent here. You see all this rippling. Um, Right, so obviously I started the van up um, just so I can show you the lights at the front. The uh, daytime room lights, they don't, they don't stay on if it's on the only condition. So I apologise if you've got the noise of the engine in the background. Um, so what have I done to the van? Well, obviously I've painted it, fitted all the other bits and pieces. The paint is military grade paint. It's come from a company called uh, Paints for Trade. Um, I got five litres of the, of the orange. Um, in satin and then I've got two and a half litres of the black in satin um, and I've still got plenty of both left so it's more than enough um, to do the job oh man it's so cold um, literally all I did was I've got a orbital sander battery powered orbital sander uh, 400 grit paper sanded it down a bit of hand sanding when I couldn't get in with that uh, masked off anything I didn't want to you know, do, cleaned it um, and then I went over it with uh, isopropylene alcohol uh, in a spray bottle and a clean microfiber just to get everything off and a car coming past so I'm going to feel like Pratt um, and then uh, I used uh, rollers, it's literally roller painted and I think it's come out phenomenal to, be a say, to say it's been roller painted, I'm very very happy with the quality of the paintwork on how it's turned out um, but I did use quality rollers. I used uh, two fussy blocks, smooth rollers. Two fussy blocks is a brand. Uh, you can find them on eBay, Amazon, etc. Um, four inch rollers, disposable ro roller trays, brilliant. Um, took me a while to do. The, uh, the stripey graphics, they came from um, either Amazon or eBay, I can't remember. Um, I bought them thinking they'd look nice on their own. I wasn't 100% happy. And then myself and Andy from Have It Personalised. I keep banging about these guys, but they've been brilliant for me over the years. Um, we sat down and designed the, the mountains and the trees. And, and I think you'll agree it's come out quite good. I'm very happy with how that's looking. Very happy. Um, what else is to do on the outside? As I say, I want to sink that um, light bar into the grill. And I will sink the, uh, the, the, the little nudge bar that's there, that into the grill too, just for looks. Um, I've got a hole in my, dash, in my bonnet here which I stupidly did when I was drilling for the lights, don't ask, I, I just drilled through one of the beams to put the, whatever, yeah, so I need to do something with that. But that's the benefit of self-building, self-painting, you can just fill it in and repaint it, it's not an issue, is it? It's not got a paint job. So that's a job to do when it gets warmer. Um, I've still got all the inside of the door shuts to paint. Uh, you know, if you look through the gaps here, you can still see it's all white. But at the end of the day, I wanted it done to a, a reasonable standard of where we're at. Um, the only other thing I want to do, I don't know if I can do it yet, I need to double check, but I want to put recovery boards, you know, the plastic traps, uh, strap, what do they call them? 
tracks. They're about a metre long. I like to get one for each side and put them up here, one on each side. They look quite cool. Um, I was going to go for new wheels and tyres. Um, I've spoke to Rogue Alloys, which is big within the van life community. We have come to an agreement on doing a, a kind of sponsorship for the for the channel. It's going to still going to cost me, but I've decided that I'm going to go for um, Maxxis um, AT seven seven Bravo uh, seven seven one Bravo tyres. There, I'll get a little bit big, a little bit wider, a little bit higher, and have the uh, white lettering, which looks quite cool. Obviously, they're an all-terrain tyre, so that'll be that'll finish. I think that'll finish the look off. Um, I've got a project coming up for underneath, which I started recording last night, and that'll be finished recording next week. But it's going to be a weeks away before I actually put that video out, and that'll give it a bit of a lift to the back, and then ultimately I need to lift the front a little bit. Uh, what else has been done? I fully serviced the engine, it's uh, engine oil filter, air filter, diesel filter, cabin filter, that's all been done. Um, it's got new discs and pads at the front, they've been done, still need to do the rears but they're legal, they're okay, they're working fine, I just want to do them so I know they're fine. Um, I have got a very annoying intermittent wastegate solenoid uh, fault that keeps popping up every now and then when it's raining. Um, I just haven't looked at it. Um, I need to get into there and have a look at it. And I think that's about it. Oh, the damage. Um, there was a nice dent in the roof there. Um, there's little little dints knocking about, and little bits and pieces. And the side door, and both the rear doors have been replaced because they were so badly damaged. They weren't they weren't really worth keeping on, so I replaced them. I got them second hand. They came silver. But obviously, you can't tell now. Um, but the, the damage, I feel. I feel the van's had a very, very hard life. It was a builder's van. It's had a very hard life. Um, it's, it, it's earned it. It's earned its damage. Does that make sense? It's earned its battle scars. It should wear and pride, so I've left them. Um, there's little bits and pieces dotted all over it. I ain't fussed about it. I don't think it detracts from the look of it. Oh, one more last thing. I forgot. The film, Biohex film on headlights. Um, somebody said to me, it'll never get through an MOT. Well, it did. Went for MOT in November, um, a couple of ad smart, small advisors, one of them being back brakes. Um, I think that's it. If there's anything you see that I've not mentioned, let me know. Um, and the next video will be interior. Um, I would film it today. Yeah, I would film it today, but I, uh, it, it's a mess. <laughs> I haven't cleaned up. Uh, it just needs a bit of a tidy up before I start doing that. So. Uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, make sure you like, subs like, subscribe, share and all that good stuff. Uh, hit the notification bell and you'll find out then uh, instantly when I upload the next video, which like I say will be the interior. I intend doing this in three parts. It'll be exterior that you just watched, interior, and then I'll take you into the, uh, the boot area or the garage area, whatever you want to call it. And I'll show you my uh, electrical install that I've got back there. Um, I'll explain why I've got certain things that I've got in there. Um, yeah, and then I'll, I'll probably do a fourth part, things I'm gonna change, things I've already changed, um, and then I'll open it up to you guys for questions. So if you've got any questions, stick them in the comments and of all the videos, um, and then the fourth video I do in this little series will be uh, a Q&A um, type thing. But that's it, I'm gonna quit, quit recording. I'm going to get back in the van. Night eaters on, it's going to be nice and toasty there. Try and get some feeling into my hands. Oh, pardon me, belching. Yeah, try and get some feeling back in my hands. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care. Thanks for riding along. See you soon.